subscribe and share. Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechViews and Help and today I'm going to show you how to kill a program on Windows with a batch file. This will kill it and restart it. So as far as this goes, this is a continuation on a previous video, but since this could be used across the board of pretty much anything on Windows, and if you're having a given problem, I'm, I'm just making a separate video, but this is a continuation on the iSpy problems. Basically, this particular thing will fix an issue where basically the um, iSpy program, for whatever reason, it freezes and hangs up. And I really don't care to troubleshoot it, but since Windows 10 is coming out soon, I, I, I really don't care at it. And, it, and I'm just going to hope that that fixes it. If it doesn't, then I'll troubleshoot it. But for the most part, in the meantime, I have to have a solution, especially since I'm about to go on some uh, trips and stuff. So with this in mind, I need to have it where it actually works. So let's go open up uh, Multiplicity, which is a network KVM. So in a previous video, I showed you the schedule and this is basically making it where the software side itself on iSpy it shuts off the camera and turns it back on but it doesn't fix the freezing issue so to fix the freezing issue what we need to do is make a batch file and a uh, task so in order to make a batch file just go wherever I prefer to do it in Dropbox because I save all the videos and the layout and everything else in Dropbox. I will just keep everything in the same place. Plus, if I switch servers, switch to anything, I can reuse this as needed. So just go new, and then uh, text document. Doesn't matter what you want to call it. You're, about, you're going to delete in a second or two. And with this, what we're going to do is type in or copy in the following command. And it's task kill force immediately whatever program now if you are trying to do some other program the this last part is what you need to change so with that in mind this will kill it and restart it now as far as some programs some programs not as by um, but some programs I've seen is where if you try to kill one program another program relies on it you'll see this with Chrome and a few others where it will actually try to bring that section back up and it'll save some residual information so you continue at the problem. So what you will need to do is kill the main program or kill all the programs at the same time, which is also a technique that hackers use to make their dividers stay up. But um, obviously we're not trying to kill that. That's a, You won't make a batch file for that. You'll do a whole nursery of things but so with that what we're going to do is save it save as and name it whatever you want but it's, I'm just going to name this kill.bat it's very important to name it .bat at the very end and that says it's a batch file and we have it right there in fact we can get, get rid of this because that's not useful anymore and if we click on it, if you got the preview, you can actually see the program itself. We can double click on it to activate the program. I might end up having to censor out a couple of things. Let me... Yep. Alright, and closing that. So with that, what we're going to do is now make a task. So we're going to go and task scheduler just search for it it's already on your Windows computer and then from here we're going to create a task so from here what you want to do is name this and we're going to find that program that we just made the file and this will say what it needs 
to do. So from here, make sure it says start and that way it, um, and then go to triggers, go to new, and then daily and recur daily, repeat hourly. You could fill out this a little bit more, but I'm not because we want it to be like this. And make sure I said on schedule. You should see the task and also when it's inspect to next run. If you want to edit it, then basically you can double click it and say for the trigger time. Uh, let's make this a little bit bigger and basically what I do is go into the properties and then edit whatever I want so like example I want to edit that let's edit back, that back now as far as um, everything else if, if something doesn't work then let me know but for the most part like with the naming stuff it does need to be one word or one thing but for the most part this is pretty easy stuff uh, if you do have any problems with this then let me know and i'll try to answer as quickly as possible and also um, please let me know if you want to add anything on to here and that will might help you so uh, if you like this please leave a like subscribe share if you don't like this then please leave a dislike and tell me why so i can fix it in future videos but again this has been creepy bent found on our tech view snoop and hope you have a great day